what is going on beautiful people welcome to another episode of mornings with lee hammock your favorite self-aware narcissist today we're going to be talking about did COVID create more narcissists did the pandemic pandemic narcissism the pandemic make narcissists worse did it bring it out of people did it did it did it because it seemed like during the pandemic is when a lot more narcissistic people started to show themselves like i think there was a, a statistic out there that domestic violence rates went up and whatever during uh, the periods of um you know stay-at-home orders and isolationism and whatnot but it could be some something some truth to it before we hop deep into today's episode y'all make sure if you haven't already check out my other channel lee actions follow me over there for my re it's my reaction channel i do reaction videos story times uh voicemail breakdowns the the works the works is done over there so check that out and whatnot um but yes so for me <clears throat> did COVID make narcissists worse i would have to say um i think COVID activated a lot more narcissists right when i say what i mean by activated is that COVID was a boundary the pandemic was a boundary i'll say the pandemic the pandemic was a boundary for a lot of people right for a lot of people who are used to being able to do what they wanted to do uh they hate when people tell them what to do they hate when people like you know set those boundaries and do a lot of these different things to them right narcissistic people hate hate that type of stuff right so when COVID happened when you know they had the governors i live in north carolina so you had roy cooper issued that stay-at-home order it's like a huge boundary was placed on narcissists like jobs were shut down places were shut down um you could only go to work if you was a, if you were an essential worker and whatnot um like for me you know i'm um i was a real estate agent at the time I'm still a real estate agent right now so if you need a house uh email me demon hammock at kw.com um <laughs> i work for keller williams in, in uh, kernersville north carolina um but one of the things that like i said the stay-at-home orders were a huge boundary like and you if you were not were not an essential worker you had to stay you had pretty, pretty much had to stay at home you couldn't do what you wanted to do that's a huge boundary narcissists hate boundaries right so you it's like the world is telling me what to do the world is saying hey you can't do this you can't do that so what do narcissists normally do when boundaries are set on them they lash out and who is around them to take the lashing out the partners the kids whoever it is, the people, the closest to them, the people they're, um, um, well, I forgot what it's called, but the people are, the people who they have to stay at home with, the people who you have to um, quarantine, that's what it was. The people you have to quarantine with, um, the people you have to quarantine with, um, you, took, you took it out on them. So narcissism, toxic behaviors, abusive people, they took it out more on their partners. So it didn't, I don't think it made narcissists I don't think it created more narcissists. It's just narcissists didn't have the normal outlet. If they were having, if they had affair partners, if they were paranoid or whatever, because narcissists, even if you were a fair partner of a narcissist, right, they still think you belong to them. So I can be married, right? I can be married. This is to take my own particular situation. I'm, look, I'm, look, y'all, I am not cheating. Goodness gracious. Um, but let's just say, take my own particular situation. I'm married, right? But let's say I was having an affair, let's say, and I had a quarantine, stay at home order, right? And my affair, affair partner had to do the same thing. So we couldn't see each other. So my mind, somebody else is going to go get them. So I'm staying at home, angry at my partner, because my, I'm paranoid about my affair partner cheating on me. How stupid is that? But that's the type of stuff that narcissistic people would take out on their partners, would take out on their kids. They're super frustrated. Yeah, the world is shutting down. They can't go to work. You don't know if you're going to get paid money flow all this other stuff is going on right but there were so many other things behind the scenes as well so this is one of the things like i said narcissistic people this is the type of stuff that will happen to them like COVID activated them COVID made them worse the pandemic made them worse the pandemic was a huge boundary that narcissistic people you know y'all narcissists hate boundaries let's just get it out get it. i don't even feel like i need to say that again but i'm gonna say it again narcissists hate boundaries no matter who places the boundary on them they hate it no matter who places said boundary on the narcissist, they hate it regardless. So in that space right here, when you deal with narcissistic people, this is what you can expect, that they are going to hate the boundaries that are set upon them, right? They're going to absolutely hate the boundaries that are set upon them, and they're going to be frustrated as hell. They're going to be mad as hell, and they're going to just take it out on people closest to them. This is how it works, y'all. Like, so during COVID, this is exactly what happened to most people. 
the boundaries were set and people narcissism narcissists took it out on people and the abusive narcissists got more abuse they became more abusive they did they, you know the, the, the narcissists they they became more abusive they absolutely did like they and they started abusing people more people at home so they take it out on the people around them like okay this is what's going on this is the type of stuff that's happening and boom gotcha you know what i mean Boom, got you. This is the type of stuff that will go on. This type of stuff that will happen. So when you're dealing with narcissistic people, like, yeah, the pandemic absolutely made them a lot worse. But like I said pandemic did not create narcissists. It didn't. And I know people, people are just asking, like, Lee, where the hell did this idea come from from this video? If y'all watch my other morning mornings with Lee, um, I had COVID. I just tested um, clear this morning. Still have some, you know, residual, I guess my nose is still running and whatnot. But we just three of us there's four of us in the house three of us were clear my little girl is still popping <laughs> she's still popping right now um but i got the thing and i laid it COVID make me worse was i worse during the pandemic yes i was worse during the pandemic because i remember on the way home from dropping off my oldest son right and um i got the stay at home order like burr, 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 kind of like we were in resident evil or the uh the uh the purge burr, 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 you know so that type of stuff happened right there like we were uh it was like stay at home or you know essential personnel only on the streets like I, I thought i was gonna get arrested on the highway driving home i was scared as hell and they were frustrated me and i became you know more disconnected from my wife more disconnected from my kids angrier short shorter tempered with them and then of course during the pandemic is when my wife actually left me right right when the stay at home order came a couple of weeks later she left a couple days later i can't like the timetable was kind of mixed up y'all but she did leave after the stay-at-home orders was issued. She did not, like, when the stay-at-home order was issued, she decided that she did not want to quarantine very long with me. She did not stay at home. She ignored Roy Cooper's order. So, Roy Cooper, if you're watching this video, my wife ignored the order. So, come get her. Now, <laughs> I'm telling. Um, but this is what happened. And y'all, so during the pandemic is when she left. I had missed therapy a couple of times. I restarted therapy. And then um, and we, went, we went to marriage counseling during the pandemic. At the very beginning of the pandemic, and then right before we went to marriage counseling, that's when I started my 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 profile. That's when I started my TikTok. That's when I started. That's what that's why I'm here right now because I started acting so you know, out out of character, or more out of character during the pandemic. Then my wife left, and I started my my started my TikTok channel just as an outlet. You see what I'm saying? You see how pandemic actually brought my narcissism full full scale. <laughs> you know what I mean? They brought it full scale. Full scale and whatnot, y'all. So, um, you know, it happened. Everything happens for a reason. Um, hope y'all, y'all didn't, you know, y'all didn't suffer too much during the pandemic. I know it was a tough time. We still kind of dealing with it now because of COVID and whatnot. Um, but yeah, COVID definitely brought out the worst on a lot of people, not just narcissists, but it, it just brought the worst out on a lot of people, um, and whatnot. But anyway, y'all, thank you for tuning into another episode, y'all. I appreciate you, every single one of y'all. Look, my very first workshop of the year, in person workshop, is Washington, Washington D.C. on. The 14th of September, 2024, y'all. Um, me and my friend Nia Renee are putting it together. Y'all need to come check it out in person. Like there's limited seats. Um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be pretty it's a pretty decent sized place, but hey, we're not gonna do a whole bunch of people because this is our first workshop. But this is what it looks like right here, y'all. This you see it right here. Healing from narcissistic abuse in person workshop, September the 14th. Uh, me and my girl Nia Renee are putting this together uh you can register now 22 days from now register now you can find this at mentalhealness.net slash events mentalhealness.net slash events that's where you can find it at y'all like y'all see y'all see it in the toolbar right here mentalhealness.net slash events we will see y'all there um if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to this channel because i appreciate everybody who's subscribing appreciate everybody who's there who's there for me Everybody and everybody who's not there for me. I still love y'all. Still got love for you. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, like and subscribe. Mental Hillness is out. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you. Have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people. And click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video.